Warning, the following video is over-exaggerated. Well, I guess. This game does kind of suck, so don't get your rings all rung up. Sega sure loved the 3D. I mean, look how overly excited the title screen is. Even the menus are obsessed with 3 d ifying everything, like this timer! It could have been in 2D, but no, 3D, that was the cool thing back then, yo. How is the demo so good? You can't move as smoothly as shown, trust me. When you first play the game, all the locked characters are grayed out except for Dr. Robotnik. Wait, there's only five courses? This game came out in 1997. Heck, Super Mario Kart released in 1992 with twice as many courses. What the ass is this control? Why is the music so catchy? It's not at all appropriate for a Sonic game, but uh, you know, I do kind of like it, but uh, you know, don't, don't tell anyone I said that, okay? This is the ugliest Sonic game I have ever seen. It's so polygonal. The textures are blurry and muddy. The whole thing's just blech. When you pause the game, the music doesn't stop playing. I hate when games don't go silent after pausing, they really should. So you can kind of drift with your character, but it really doesn't help much with the controls. So Resort Island isn't a linear track, which sounds fine, but the branching paths are so convoluted, you're just lost the whole time. Ugh. This song is stuck in my head now. When you go through loops, you lose complete control of which direction you're going in. Flying. I'm stuck. I'm seriously stuck. Getting the fastest time for most of these tracks involved taking completely alternate routes. That's a sign of little to no game testing. Trying to turn around just doesn't work. When unlocking new characters, the text looks like it says, prepare to challenge. Playing as Amy. Don't do it! This S-coin is hiding behind the wall. Now, who here is gonna look for something like that in a racing game? There's only going forward, not exploring! Tails doll. That creepy freak. Racing Tails doll for the first time is way too easy. It moves so freaking slow. I just realized how uninspired and lazy this character roster is. We got three Sonic characters, two Tails characters, two Knuckles characters, and kind of two Eggman characters. Amy's tires go flat when going over water. Is she a transformer? When you boost with Amy, you can't turn or drift. Like I said, do not play as Amy. Okay, so there's like 50 branching paths. Where do I go? There is no character balance. You have Super Sonic that's twice as fast as everybody, and then there's Tails Doll and Amy. None of the character's abilities outmatch Super Sonic's sheer speed. You just play as him and you win. That's it. Tails Doll doesn't really have any breaks. The thing just kind of moves and never stops. Wait a minute, Egg Robo can't jump? He has legs! When you get the super shoes, the tune that usually plays isn't present here. All right, so I got all the emeralds. Now, where is Super Su- Oh, could they, like, not squeeze in another slot? If you want a seizure, just play Radiant Emerald from Sonic R. When Sonic R first came out, apparently people liked the game. What? Dr. Robotnik and Egg Robo's missiles are terrible. They have to be close to someone to lock on, and even if you hit someone, they stop for like half a second and that's it! They're completely useless. There's a mode where you collect five balloons. I wonder where they got this idea. The balloons are not only hard to see, but are put in the most ridiculous spots. But for some reason, I'm having more fun with this mode than the core game. After finishing a round of balloons, you're taken all the way back to the main menu screen. Why not put me back at the stage screen so it's quicker? Just look at how unfinished Radical City looks. Like, this is pathetic, man! Tag. I... can play tag. If there's one game genre that shouldn't have a tag mode in it, racing has to be my pick. If you can even call this a racing game. Ugh, now look, if you need to be untriggered, then watch this video about a cool Mario 64 ROM hack. It's really funny and I'm sure you'll love it. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comments what triggers you about Sonic R. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great day.